Alright, uh, hi everyone. I uh, just wanted to touch bases on a little more about me and why I'm doing what I do and I guess my part of this, the story. Uh, so, it all started in March of uh, 2013. Um, I hit three the three digit weight class and it wasn't muscle, no. It was about 40% body fat. Uh, my doctor told me that I could expect diabetes and you know high blood pressure, cholesterol, everything within the next few years if I kept going down that track. And um, I remember that night I decided to turn my life around and joined up the gym the next day. Uh, I wasn't really doing anything at that time, just playing games and eating all day and eating at night as well. When I stay up till like 6 a.m. Um, but like, you know, joining the gym isn't, wasn't exactly the right becking call. Uh, because the first couple of months I didn't really lose any weight at all. Uh, like many new people, um, I went into a diet thinking that if I ate salads and uh, if I didn't eat that much of the bad stuff, I would lose weight. And that's, that was totally wrong because the first few months I felt like I was wasting my time and I wanted to quit. But um, yeah, I found out about macros and tracking them, tracking calories. Uh, then diet started coming up like intermittent fasting, carb backloading, um, even keto. I didn't try keto, but you know, uh, just in the end, I just stuck to a rule of calories in versus calories out. Um, if you lose more calories than you eat, then you'll lose weight. That's what I have to say, really. Uh, there's no special trick to it. I reckon everybody's body is different, though. But if you train hard enough and you don't eat that much, your body has no other choice but to burn the fat for energy. Uh, this isn't scientifically, like... It's just my opinion. Um, and then gradually towards the end of 2014, uh, right after my year 11 formal, um, that's when I wanted to call it quits. Uh, I felt depressed and I felt sick. Um, didn't have the energy on the daily to do anything at all. Uh, I could barely walk to school. I tried to do that during my diet just so like, I could get a little extra cardio in. But um, I could barely do that because I was doing the intermittent fasting and carb backloading. So I wouldn't eat anything in the morning, just a cup of coffee with um, five grams of a coconut oil in it. I remember that. Uh, and that's that was all that I ate until after I trained. And I trained at like 4 p.m. So and I will finish at like 6.30 or something like that. So that's when I would eat. Um, I gotta admit, I looked, that was the best I've ever looked for my past, you know, 16 years. Um, yeah, that's when I decided to call it quits. Uh, a few months passed after that, and then during my slow bulk, I kind of overestimated myself and ego lifted a little bit and did a PR deadlift. It wasn't even a PR yet, like, I was working up to it, and, um, yeah, I got an injury on my lower back that day, um, but I'll leave that for another story. Not gonna record myself at the gym today, uh, cause it's the same stuff at the moment. I have something else that's planned that will go up with the video, so there's that. Uh, also, probably heading to the beach after the gym to catch the sunset there and because um yesterday at the car park wasn't that great to be honest yeah i could tell you couldn't really see or tell anything because it was so cloudy but hopefully at the beach we'll get a better scenery uh so yeah that's gonna happen the thing about this dslr camera is it's very heavy and I have to hold it with a hand and I drive manual. Yeah, and 
ever happening. Um, probably stick it for my phone for a while, look at a point and shoot. If it does get serious. But I really like the way it looks, the quality and stuff. Yeah, about 15 minutes drive to my gym. I should probably put this down. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching my stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always had a sense of creating something, looking back at it, and like really reminiscing of what it was. And I enjoy setting up stuff like this, like my camera is right there. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't find this as a long term career, I find this more as a hobby, just like going to the gym is and um, my long-term career prospects is to be a lawyer I want to become a barrister I'm doing a bachelor of law but you know people will change their careers on average seven times in their lives and I'm re I've already been a waiter I've worked in retail I've worked at a farm so you know a lawyer is just my fourth one I've got three more careers to change into and it all just depends on whether or not I choose to make this my career. Uh, a lot of my friends have already said that this is a dead end job uh, photography. Um, but yeah, a lot of them have said that cinematography is a dead end job unless like you've got connections to go to bigger, better things. Uh, doing it as a hobby, not as a career. Uh, hopefully, I'll get better. So my videos will look better and I'll have something to look back on to. Like this was the stage in my life where I was figuring out what I wanted to do and I was doing what I really liked doing. Yeah. No, no, it's alright, it's alright, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just here. You're talking to him. Yeah, talking to the camera. <laughs> 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 